ICT 2026 aspirant. So, as the year is passing by, the days are coming closer and closer. There is one question which is very, very common in almost all my videos in all the comment section. That is, ma'am, if I start my preparation right now, can I crack KCT or not? Okay, so I can understand that uh, this time as it has only few months left and this question is very very common and genuine among all the students having this fear itself uh, symbolizes that you are somewhere responsible uh, you are somewhere worried about the exam so in this particular video i am going to give you a correct answer whether you will be able to crack kct or not in six months and if you can then what all things you need to follow okay so let's get started with this and so what all things we have in today's video first of all i'll give you a reality check that whether we can do it or not second the pillars of preparation the resources the high weightage topics month wise strategies and smart tips okay so now coming to uh, roughly if you count we have just 180 days left okay so if you see september september october november december january february march april so in April month exam will be there so almost eight months you can count but there will be one month completely for your board exams seven months and September month is almost going to over there are the Diwali vacations there are the Sera vacations so roughly I can say there are six months for your preparation okay six months equals 180 days now we have how many chapters we have if i just consider for engineering physics chemistry maths physics pu1 and pu2 28 chapters chemistry 19 chapters and maths sorry maths is 23 chapters okay sorry this is uh, 20 three chap 27 chapters yes now total we will have 74 chapters now if i see 180 days in 74 chapters so you will get number of uh, days per chapter is around 2.5 so means you have to complete each chapter in two and two and a half days and then there is no way you can miss even a single day of preparation so now the big question big dollar question comes that is it possible so the answer here is definitely that it is not going to be easy it is super super difficult to study every day to put efforts every day and to complete these 74 chapters in just 180 days it is difficult but what comes here is what comes here is it is possible with something called as right strategy and that is why this video is there today to give you a right strategy i won't be teaching you here everything but i'll be telling you how you need to start your preparation if you haven't yet so now if you have watched this video till now you are now going to enter a video where i'll be telling you the exact strategy exact resources exact chapters that you need to study so before moving forward please put a comment that you are ready for top thousand rank hashtag top thousand so just put this in the comment section to show me that you all are dedicated you all are ready to put your hundred percent efforts for the next six months then only this video is helpful for you okay so moving forward here i hope all of you have commented if not please do it show me your commitment show me your efforts here so now we will talk about three pillars of preparation to crack any exam whether it is upsc whether it is board whether it is j e or whether it is kct you need to have three important pillars of success pillars for the preparation the first one is to clarify your concepts whatever is the exam the question the topics that is being asked in the exam those concepts should be clear next you should be practicing practicing of concepts in the form of questions next you should analyze yourself by giving test right so these are the three pillars of success three pillars of to crack any exam now i'll tell you how to crack or how to master each pillar of them okay so first of all is uh, book resources so i told you there are three pillars so for concepts for understanding or reading the concept you just need to refer one and only one book 
that is your ncrt books okay if you have any doubt in certain concept in certain question you find dif difficult for example electrochemistry nurse equation you are finding is difficult you are not understanding that so for that particular thing you can refer to any reference book or for that particular thing you can do question practice more but yes for concept clarity ncrt is more than sufficient do not go for any other book next i told you the next uh, next pillar is practicing questions right practice for that you need pyqs and the book that i will refer here is mtg book uh, they are good books you can the, they have almost 6000 plus mcqs are there you have the sure publication also you can take that as well so these all books you can refer for pyqs next we have the mock test so diksha vidantu channel or diksha karnataka will launch its uh, mock test or test series that is called as abhyas kct test series i have already told about this we have been launching it from 2023 and we have got immense response and we will be launching it in the month of november or december we will let you know definitely so by this time your syllabus will also be over and from november december onwards this mock test will be available so do wait for abhyas test series we have launched in 2023 2024 2025 and this year we are going to have the sixth uh, time that is uh, sorry fourth time that is in 2025 okay for kct 2026 examination uh, next, so we have got resources. Now I'll tell you what is the syllabus or what is the high weightage topics. So physics, you can see the chapters which are marked in yellow. These are your high weightage topics, moderate weightage, low weightage of PU2. Next, I have chemistry here. Okay, so solutions, electrochemistry, these all yellow color are your high weightage topics. Next, I have maths also. You can take a screenshot of them. Okay, so you can take a screenshot and you can get this topics which are high weightage. So whenever you are studying this chapter, whether it is in your school, coaching or tuition, make sure that you put 100% focus while studying these chapters. You don't have to revise it again. Just be very, very confident with the concepts here. Now moving forward, we have understood PU2 topics and here are your PU1 weightage. The topics which are highlighted in yellow are having more weightage. So you don't have to read all the chapters. Uh, you have to read all the chapters but these chapters you have to do more question practice okay so now we are done with the uh, syllabus now i'll tell you about the six month action plan okay very very important so the phase one starts from september october november three months in this phase what you have to do complete focus on pu2 syllabus and you should be doing kct pyqs of all the pu2 chapters phase two will be your december and january where your focus should be on pu1 topics you can just start doing pu1 topics and your practical exams also your pu2 boards now why i'm supporting or focusing on pu2 boards because it also has 50 percent weightage in your rank determination next we have phase 3 feb and march where you should be completely focusing on your pu2 boards trying to get at least 290 plus okay 290 plus you need to target uh, in pcm next focus phase 4 april complete focus on your kct 2026 examination so this is your month wise plan or month wise focus what you should be doing so by the end of november try to complete the entire pu2 syllabus in december january try to complete the pu1 syllabus february and march focus on writing the board exams april focus on kct 2026 examination now there are some smart tips that i have for all of you so i'll just go one by one the first thing is kct questions are concept based okay so understanding the basics deeply is very very important and you just need to refer kct ncrt books for that okay next is take part mock test at least twice a month till december okay so till december you should be giving part test in the month of uh, december january uh, then february march you should be focusing on pu2 mock test so kct part mock test how much you have studied so i'll tell you till september october november giving part test is good 
okay by november your syllabus will be completed and our abhyas test series will also launch so De december and january you can give full length mock test okay then till february you have to stop this or in february you can just give one or two in the whole month because your entire focus should be on getting pu2 marks or pu2 completing the syllabus Next, whenever you give this mock test, you need to analyze the mistakes and work on your weak areas consistently to improve on it. This. And lastly, we have allocate time evenly for all subjects, but give extra attention to your weaker areas. Now, here I want to add you something that you should do: integrated study. Okay. Now, what is this integrated study? I have told you many times in my different different videos. So, which, uh, whichever chapter is being completed, do its KCT PYQs immediately, and also try to do some PU2 PYQs also. So, subjective and objective questions should be practiced simultaneously. Okay. So, that's all in this video. Okay. And I have something very very important information for all of you. Yes. So these are the series of videos that we have done for your preparation. The first one you should watch is six month strategy. Here exactly I have told you how to complete the syllabus faster, how to do PYQs, how to complete PU one syllabus, which resources you should follow at what phase. Your month wise timetable also is given here. So do watch this video. Very very important. Next, how to balance both? There is a big question for most of, of most of the students: how to uh, manage KCT and PU2 preparation. So I have given a solid idea, simple trick to manage that. Do watch this video, and then you have also, as I told you, PU2 has 50% weightage. So do watch this video where I am telling you how to get 95% plus in your PU2 examination. Once this is done. You have separate subject-wise subject strategy, so this is not mandatory. Whichever subject you find is difficult for help, you can do watch these videos to get a proper idea. Otherwise, otherwise, what we have here, these three videos are mandatory. After watching this video, please watch these three videos, prepare a plan, study plan, and then work. Start doing accordingly because we are just left with six months. And at this point of time, if you don't start preparing, okay. Next time when we come video, if you ask me, ma'am, just five months are left, can I start now? At that time, my answer will definitely be no. Okay, six months is maximum that you should means is the most I can say. Uh, uh, a uh, most good time six month period is a very good time to revise to do all the questions you will get if you go late than this then definitely your preparation will be hampered your ranks will be affected so please students please be serious please understand the depth you have seen this year the competition has gone so high the cutoffs have gone so in like so high that even students who have got 295 plus 150 plus were also not in top 1000 ranks right so that means the competition was too too High this time, and next year it is going to be much more higher. Then that the only thing you can do is to start early and be ready early. Okay, so that's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. All the best, and do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt.